gazetted regulations of the Judicial Commission of Inquiry into allegations of state capture. This follows the appointment of the Judicial Commission into allegations of state capture, corruption and fraud in the public sector, including organs of state headed by Deputy Chief Justice Zondo. The regulations enable the chairperson to collect evidence and subpoena witnesses to testify before the commission and to present any documentary evidence relevant to the inquiry. Joining us from our Pretoria studios is Minister of Justice and Correctional Services, Advocate Michael Masuta. Good, af good afternoon to you and welcome, Minister. Can you just give us the highlights of these regulations? Well, let's see if correctly uh, stipulated the regulations are necessary to uh, enable the, uh, the commission and, and the chair to uh, conduct um, proceedings of the Commission, which includes the matters you've already alluded to, but that also um, provides the legal basis for the uh, Commission or the Chair to um, establish the necessary administrative uh, machinery that will enable him to uh, conduct uh, the proceedings. So, for example, the appointment of staff, um, you know, identifying suitable accommodation where the proceedings will be conducted, etc. All right, Mr. Minister, if I may, please increase uh, your volume. If you can just speak up a little bit uh, so that I can pick you up uh, from the studio. Uh, th the question that I also wanted to ask you was, how much power do these regulations offer the commission and its chairperson? Yes, as I indicated, the, the powers include those that you have already uh, referred to, uh, <coughs> which relates to the conducting of the actual proceedings uh, so that uh, the Commission is able to uh, subpoena witnesses, it's able to gather the necessary evidence um, and so forth. But the other uh, aspect uh, relates to the setting up of the machinery, uh, the administrative machinery, which will be required to uh, conduct uh, this inquiry. And that includes the appointment of staff, the um, identification of uh, <coughs> and, and provision of um, accommodation where the proceedings will take place. Um, the, the uh, regulations together with the terms of reference constitute the necessary legal instruments uh, that enables uh, the Commission to conduct its business in terms of a law, uh, the Commission's Act of 1947, which is the primary legal instrument uh, that enables the Commission um, to uh, do its work. But beyond this, the uh, uh, chairperson now has the legal framework to, to work and uh, his responsibility is to actually set up the actual machinery uh, that would um, enable him to conduct the proceedings. Uh, he may need, for example, to publish the um, rules of procedure uh, that are going to be followed um, he is going to need to uh, designate uh, and appoint um, personnel of, of different uh, categories, whether he sources some of them from the public sector by way of secondment or whether he um <coughs> uh, identifies uh, such personnel from the, the private sector uh, or the various professions. Um, and of course, our responsibility is to give uh, maximum support uh, to the chairperson in, in all of that. Now, because of the sensitivity of the probe, some potential witnesses may chicken out. What will happen in such cases to reassure them of their protection? The power of subpoena means uh, the power to compel a witness to come before the commission and to testify uh, and of course compel 
um, that uh, witness not only to be in attendance but to actually uh, answer questions. Failure uh, for honoring a subpoena uh, in any circumstances constitutes a criminal offense and uh, anybody who refuses um, to do so may be liable to criminal prosecution. When the, 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 the commission uh, starts, we've been looking at this issue of some people not being able to come forward as they would be afraid of their safety or they could be, uh, receive threats as some people may tamper with witnesses. W what is the commission going to do then with regards to their safety? Well, um, <coughs> the, the prosecute, sorry, the, um, the uh, chairperson of the commission um, has the uh, support of uh, various institutions of government. Um, we have set up a multidisciplinary task team uh, to support and work with uh, the commission from government side, uh, constituted by, uh, of course, the Department of Justice because we uh, principally administer the, the Commissions Act, uh, but together with uh, uh, the police, uh, Treasury, state security, uh, public works, um, uh, and so on. And uh, the purpose really is to uh, provide whatever support uh, that that may be needed. Um, you may be aware, for example, that um, there is law that uh, provides for protection of uh, of, of um, uh, state witnesses, um, and um, you know there are uh, uh, tools within government of that kind. All right. So, when is the commission going to start with its work? Well, as of this afternoon, upon promulgation of the regulations, the uh, president has completed his task of setting up the commission. Uh, you'd recall that he's also um, uh, previously promulgated the terms of reference. Those are the two tools that basically enables the commission to, to commence. Um, beyond this, the ball uh, falls in the court of um, the chairperson to establish the machinery, as I indicated, that would include possibly the publishing of a, a schedule of uh, activities or, or timetable that would include uh, setting uh, the official commencement date um, from which, um, you know, uh, certain uh, proceedings uh, will, will, will occur in accordance with um, the, um, the, uh, the, the, the rules that he will set out on, on how proceedings are going to be uh, conducted um, in, in the directives that he shall have uh, issued. All right. Mr. Minister, thank you very much for speaking to us. We are speaking to advocate... Uh, the, the Minister of uh, Justice and Correctional Services, Advocate Michael Masuta, coming to us live from our studios in Pretoria. Let's take a break and when we come back, we'll look at business news.